everybody today we'll be learning about cardiac and vascular function curve okay people find this curve pain in the ass but trust me they are pretty easy after watching this video you'll find these curves they're all about concepts not about the lines okay so there are two two different curves and they put them together so we'll learn them one by one okay the first one is our starting curve according to Frank Starling the more blood you put into the heart, the more it pumps out. The more blood you give to the heart, the more it pumps out, okay? Within the physiological limits. This is our physio suppose this is our limit. After that, cardiac muscles cannot take more blood. So this co curve goes whatever. The other curve we have is vasculature function curve. Uh, to understand this, just illustrate here. Imagine this is uh, this is our superior vena cava, this is our inferior vena cava, this is our right heart, right atria. So the blood goes from here to here. Okay. Now let's suppose uh, the right uh, or right atrial pressure is seven. Just draw a line here. This is right atrial pressure is seven, and the pressure in our uh, inferior vena cava is 7. Okay. Now, when the pressure on the both sides is same, then there will be no flow. So, we'll have no flow. Okay. Let's see. Let's suppose if I decrease this pressure to 6, then there will be little flow. Because now pressure here is less and pressure is more. So, there will be flow of blood. There will be some flow of blood. Now, if I decrease it to 5, there will be more flow. Then if I decrease it to 4, there will be more flow. If I decrease it to 3, there will be more flow. If I decrease it to 2, there will be more flow. If I decrease it to 1, there will be more flow here. If I decrease it to 0, of course, there will be more flow, because now the difference is more. But if I do it to minus, then the right heart, right atria cannot handle that much pressure, so this curves go pretty straight. Okay, now we'll just draw a curve. This is our uh, vascular function curve. Now we'll just combine both of them and then we'll see, we'll understand the curves. Okay. See here, we have stroke volume, we have venous return. I'll do it a different color. We have venous return. We have right atrial pressure and we have preload. Okay, this was our Frank Stalin curve. Try right here. And this was our Venus return curve. The point where these two curves meet, it tells us this is the point where the blood which is going into the heart is as same that is coming out of the heart. If it's, if it's five, 5 ml going into the heart, that will be 5 ml coming out of the heart. Okay? And then let's integrate if over heart, if you do exercise and heart muscle contract more, then this curve will go up. And if there is something wrong with the cardiac muscles, they're not working well, they're not properly function, functioning, this curve will go down. Okay. Uh, then this is our, let's put this is our artery, this is our veins, this is our arteries. Blood is coming from arteries into the vein. Let's, let's suppose we put here some resistance. Okay. Then there will be less blood coming to the veins. Less blood going to the heart, okay? The curve will go down because there is less venous return to the right heart, okay? Let's see if we just take this blood out, take this resistance out, then there will be more blood going to the right atrium, okay? This was if we increase the resistance, or we call it TPR2, total variable resistance. This was if we decrease the resistance. This was with exercise, 
or increase the contact tool this was with less function okay the curve now if the recent goes down this will be our point if the contact goes up this will be our point it's just about the points we can do it separate by separate but uh, learning points but this is all it's about okay hope you guys understand our video understand the concept for more videos please comment below thank you very much